skin Only add color to my tears Oh, oh, I shall not be moved I shall not, I shall not be moved I'm trying to sleep, lay by the And that the Johnsons do. And that you do. That are saying, man, just let this alone. This was a freak accident. What do we want? Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter if it's Kendrick Johnson, Renisha McBride, Troy Davis, Trayvon Martin. And injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Mr. Johnson gave up his job to stand on the corner to keep fighting for justice. Here you is got Negroes live an hour away too lazy and selfish to stand up to for 15 minutes. Somebody said, well, where were all the preachers at? What are you talking about where all the preachers at? Preachers the same way in Detroit, and I call it exactly what it is. If you a hoe, just be a hoe. Get on the corner, lift up your skirt, and show a little skin. I forgot I'm in the South. I'm in the Bible bed. I got to calm it down. I ain't in Detroit. I ain't in New York. Making real truth to power. Y'all give it up for this diverse lineup that we got here today. They say a lot don't care who tell it, well the truth don't either. I'm very clear, I've been organizing all my life, I'm a fifth generation freedom fighter. I'm very clear that I wouldn't be on this stage if it wasn't for Marcus Coleman. Because many of the organizations that you would see would like to act like we don't exist. I'm saying that because of the fact that we're sitting here with the Johnson family. Right? And we're forgetting the fact that Kendrick Johnson is an actual human being. He's actually their son. This is their child. It's not a poster. He's not just a, a rally cry. He's not just something that we can come out and say we went to this rally and we took some pictures with his family and we went home and we had a few feel good speeches. That's not what this is about. They continue to murder us here in America because of the fact that we don't respect ourselves. Come on now. Our black leadership is impotent. Come on. Our black leadership is void. Yes. Okay? Dr. King, 46 years ago today, was assassinated. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Also, 46 years ago, two days later, April 6th, little Bobby Hutton, 17-year-old from the Black Panther Party, was murdered by Oakland police. Yes. We're still talking about we shall overcome. We still talk about no justice, no peace. I've been here 43 years, and we've been pretty damn peaceful since I've been here. The reality of this situation is that if we don't hold each other accountable, then we're going to keep on rallying. I don't mean no disrespect, man, but I just don't believe that the Johnson family feels sufficient about a feel-good speech. We act like 2014 is the first year that they start assassinating. 1914, they was murdered. 1814, they was murdered. 1714, they was lynching and murdered. 1614 and 1514. So don't come with that nonsense talking about we gonna change something. We ain't changing nothing. We ain't changing nothing but our speeches, right? On top of that, we got this chunk, Chris Pine. Yeah, I said chunk. Sucker sheriff down in Valdosta, right? He should be indicted on charges. In fact, he should be indicted for being a false coroner. For handing out, telling you what the cause of death was before the coroner told you. The governor should be indicted. Yes, Georgia's a hell of a state. Over the past year, few years, 92-year-old Captain Johnson was gunned down in her own home. Troy Davis was assassinated. And we said we was going, you know, we said we ain't going for it no more. 
Now we're here again with the Johnson family. And today, right now, you can bet your last quarter there's some injustice being done against some black folks while we speak right now. And what are we going to do about it? We're going to rally? Huh? We're going to tweet? We're going to get some shout outs? It's played out, man. Let me tell y'all something. In Islam, they say, they say that there are three ways to deal with oppression. The first way is when you see oppression, you change it with your hands. The second way is you speak out against it. And the third way, which is the most cowardice way, is to just hate it in your heart. Some of us are so cowardice, we won't even hate it in our hearts. We have a number of organizations who've been around for hundreds of years, and they still sing the same songs. To the youth that's out here, don't go for that. Don't go for that. You understand what I'm saying? Study, research on your own. Don't let nobody dictate your future and your history. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let nobody tell you that this is where it ends, just singing and rallying and marching and doing petitions. Okay? We change things the same way they do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to fight fire with water, but it's got to be a hell of a lot of water. Do you understand what I'm saying? We can't fight fire just by talking about we're going to wish it away. We're going to sing it away. That ain't how we do this. Just because of the fact that we got black faces in high places right now, ain't nothing changed. The spirit of Bull Connor is still alive today. The spirit of Strong Thurman is still alive today. And we got these Negroes running around trying to be stars. Where is your national leadership at today? Where are they? Where they at? On the TV show? Huh? They trying to get some props? They're on the radio somewhere? Then you should be out here with the people. Yes, yes. should be out here with the people, not just when it's a major case, when it's blown all over the world, then they decide to come in. Right. I'm not going to name no names today. I'm going to try to be respectful to some of these chunks. But they know how I feel. They know how I feel. And some of y'all are part of some of these wanky dink organizations. You got to hold your leadership accountable. Either you hold them accountable or you part and parcel in this madness. Peace. Looking back over my false dreams that I once knew Wondering why my dreams never came true Is it because I'm black? <laughs>